Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have adjusted the audio again. I feel like this is going to be like a never ending battle for me. But I have adjusted the audio. I uh, changed my background. I like this blue color. What do you guys think? And I'm just going to hop right into it. Um, let's see, what do we feel like doing today? I'm going to brush my pony. Guys, we are. If. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to upload this. I think probably the 15th of January, 2024. I'm going to look back on this in years. I'm like feeling like now I'm like, I'm saying 2024, but I feel like in a couple years I'm going to watch this and be like, oh my gosh, it was all the way back in 2024. Mm -hmm. um, I'm probably going to upload this on the 15th. This way. Come on. Do a little bit of art. Let's walk my horse secret town while I like chill and chat for a second here uh what was i saying oh, fuck hey guys welcome back to my channel this is gonna be episode eight last episode i accidentally murked the panhandler which was unfortunate because apparently according to you guys i didn't wait until he found some gold he got mad. Okay, I was waiting. He got mad at me and then attacked me, and then I am claiming. I am claiming self defense. Because it was. And, um. I checked out that burned area in the map by camp. I did the Reverend Swanson quest line, which was super fun. Um, is there anything over here to do? There isn't, is there? This is just kind of like set dressing. Mister, excuse me. Mister. Howdy. How you doing? Doing all right. Gonna get some good boy points back. Hello, gentlemen. Hey. Howdy. Hello. Everything okay? Watch it now. Apologies. Got your hands full there. Yeah. That's for looting that dead person. Well, you seem to know what you're doing. Bye then. Good morning, partner. could we do? That looks like a uh, saloon. Five finger fillet. I had to count the fingers. That's another bounty poster. Let's go do the bounty. I love bounty hunting. Is the veteran going to be on the corner again? Someone's going to help a fella out. Got some kind of There's problem. There's some kind of your problem here. Somebody, please. I'm going to give him a dollar. Corner. Hey, buddy. Can I get a buck, mister? Yeah. Go crazy. Sure. Thank you. Oh, thank you, mister. Bye. How you been? Good morning. Girl. We got a soft spot for veterans. Only because Tricare is so awkward. I ain't mistaken. You're looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. Not only. The out of contact vet joke could be taken very poorly now. But. Who are you? Morning, dude. I suggest you cut and run, friend. <laughs> You're the one in there, bro. 
Ellie and the Terror Juan. of Valentine. $25 would be paid for the arrest of Ellie and Swan wanted for the cream, the cream, what am I, the crime matricide. She killed her mom. The above amount will be paid immediately. One of the live for questioning. Cumberland Falls, an unknown male who may be manipulated. That okay. one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more... They say she ain't sleeping alone. Oh. Well, she's got I her got little it. murder boyfriend. That is always romantic, I guess. This bounty you're after, the lady, what's she do? Mrs. Swan? <laughs> Poor dear, married the wrong man. She thought she could kill him and inherit a fortune. Instead, she got some debts and that bounty on her head. This lady murder. That kind of thing happened much around here? This is a cattle town. There's three men to every woman, and three women to every woman of the marrying kind. Certain type of lady is drawn to this place. Indeed. I'll go and introduce myself. Poster says a lie. A L I. I make no promises. I'm gonna just try my best, though. I really will. Be related. In your pursuit. Somebody said to stop feeding my horse with auto feed. I'm gonna pet him. I'm gonna pet this guy for good luck. Look at him. <gasps> oh, look at him. Look at his little butt wags. I love him so much. Oh, good boy. Go make good choices. Cumberland Falls. Okay, so we're gonna go take care of her. Yeah! Hey, easy now. Get moving. Man, once I pointed out that these were just decals and not actually like three dimensionally in the ground. Now I can't see anything except that. <laughs> How much money do I have? Where's the inventory? It was B. I have $20. That's not much. Let me quickly see if I can off of TV. Getting quick Thank you, Cat. Let's say hi. Welcome back. Judgment. Yeah, I wish I could kill them all over again. I love you, baby. Be good, son. We will not tolerate detritus like this in our community. Justice prevail today. Don't you look at him, boy. Just run home. <laughs> I give her something. <laughs> That's so sad. Whoa 
fresh them on up. Hey, bargain. Oh, we have a little pony. I don't know it's like the Morgan horse, right? But it's so tiny. It looks like a pony. I know they're just video game characters, but sometimes when stuff like that happens, like, I feel for oh, them yeah. so deeply. Yeah. Dude, turkeys are so derpy. He saw me, like, shooting all of his friends and didn't go anywhere. carcass isn't three stars. I must have hit it in the wrong spot. Or maybe it just like was two stars and I didn't notice. That's a big fucking nope for me, bro. that was some bullshit up ahead. Oh my god. Oh man. Bomb that kill though. <laughs> so silly when you just go tumbling. I bummed the horse went down in the process. The horse did nothing wrong. The horse was just doing its best. But... Shoot. <gasps> Search this. Thank you. Thank you. 
And then take that. Oh, that reminds me I should probably oil my gun, huh? Take some horsey medicine. Okay, so yes. Don't mind if I do. I think that's all. Look, 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 I'm impressed. Maintain this. It did a good job for me. I'm gonna clean it with my grubby ass hands. <laughs> it's like <laughs> perfect. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Dude, I'm sorry, horsies. I wish I could just like let them loose. I missed one. Anyway. Oh, I knocked his head clean off. Oh, sh let's go, buddy. Forty-four dollars. I'm rich, bro. Come here. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One second, I'm gonna do a paranoid audio check. Okay, because I'm incredibly indecisive, I put the game down two decibels. So. Yeah. <sighs> Changed once again how I do my audio and how it's all set up in OBS, and I think I like it this way now. So, should be able to keep it as a constant. So, uh, a deer. Big buck too. Yep. You know, I got this to do. I might just I might as well just take care of this. That. I'm sure this will go well for me. Do you think they? I'll take their debt and give them a turkey carcass because that sounds. Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Uh, oh no no I'm I'm I'm. We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. I'm afraid your trip here <coughs> has, <coughs> has been in vain. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't please. care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. Yeah, we're not I didn't meet want him, this though. either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Mr. Strauss seems so understanding. <laughs> I wonder if I time that if I let the time go. If you want the money, you'll have to wait. If he's a farmer, then, like, yeah, we will have to wait. Isn't that, like, reasonable? You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Like, wait. Please, please show some compassion. Please. What if I don't take the money? I don't want to be a. I have empathy for you, Mr. Downs.
Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? Pay the money, you'll make this stop. Your dad's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. Do I have to? This is not forgiveness of my debt. This is just a stay. We took your word. Now we'll take your hide. Patience is all I require. What should we do, Betty? <laughs> him? We beat him up? We threaten him? Threaten that guy? I say we threaten him. What do you think we should? If I'm here. There's a reason I'm here. Are we gonna threaten him, baby? I want to see. I don't want to hit him. Uh, I don't want to hit him. How's that dead looking now? I wouldn't pay it up and been a little easier. I know. Maybe with the support of Misha. I don't think this is coming out. I think I have to. I think I'm forced. I don't think I have a choice. Money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him. He took the money. He wants it back. What's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of <laughs> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more. Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. I just get his illness. Was that karma? Because I just tell myself like that. Did I just get like some bloodborne? I don't know. I think mommy just contracted a disease. That's no good, is it? Wait, are we gonna get sick now? <sighs> or is that just the game's way of trying to make me feel guilty? Yeah. I know, I am... I am not comfy, I'm sorry, baby. This is my cat, Mishu. If you guys do not remember him, he's... I have two. I have a little brown one and a little white one. So my little white one here is named Mishu. The brown one is Mingao. Mingao is the little troublemaker. Mishu is an absolute angel, albeit a little annoying because he cries a lot. <laughs> he whines a lot and he's very needy, but I love needy cats, so I don't mind. Can I not donate to you? Hello, Arthur. You know, too many folk around here take you for granted. Well, that's nice of you to say. It's 
so quiet. Like, it's all muffled. Weather is really cool. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Then, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. We just took advantage of people, didn't we? That didn't feel good. I'd much prefer to just straight up rob people than to con them into debt. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Yeah, I will. Thank you, Arthur. I've had some people already tell me to stop donating the cam. And I think they forgot that I'm trying to go for 100%. <gasps> Good for you! Hello, Arthur. Or was he stealing money? If his name, if his name isn't on the ledger, then I think we just. I don't want to contribute. I want to go to the ledger. I didn't realize there are different things. Arthur, turkey feather. No, he just was like going through shit. I'm gonna purchase a coop. <gasps> Look, mommy got a coop. Now we can have a nice. Get Dutch something comfier. Why does he need it comfy anything? We're the ones doing all the work. He's just kind of sitting here, flapping his gums. Is he drinking again? Mr. Swanson. Mr. Morgan. A drink in your hand. What a surprise. Yeah, I thought he said he was... Just a swift one? Well, it's your life, not mine. Yep. I'm right here. Oh, don't need a shave. Hello. No more desperate, Strauss. Even been it's there, in the debtor's nature. Less desperate, then. Alright. Arthur Morgan. Yeah, I think we finally. That was a case where even Arthur is like, um, that's kind of fucked up. I. There's something so much less terrible to me about. Just straight up like robbing a bank versus like preying on the financial insecurity of someone <laughs> like that with with debt and interest. Oh, you know what? I need to have some stew. I'm gonna go see if there's some stew. Any. Bowl because I did have that big gunfight.
my coffee. I'll join Arthur. I gotta finish that quest. This actually tastes lovely. I'll head back and do that actual, actual bounty thing now. Yep. That's close. I think the sun's going down. Not pretty fucking. Why is that one solo guy running? Excuse me, pardon. Quit it's all voice. good. Calm down. Why was he running? Did he just load in? <laughs> And the game made him run to catch up. Wait, what's that over there? Yeah. Is that a wild horse? Or another panhandler? Can I try to take more money? Oh, that's a fisherman. <coughs> Mister? Nice to get away from it all, ain't it? Okay. I think the panhandler thing was one and done, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, look, we're gonna take a bay at. That's such a nice yeah. touch that like running yeah. through water will clean your horse. This just makes sense that like running out your horse through water will clean it. Come on, better shut that that pretty mouth. Woman's Stay heart. back. This here is a private affair. Stay back, I said. Let her go. You just had to get nosy. Didn't you? We're gonna get this. Whoa, now, easy. No, Scoop. fuck, fuck, shit. I keep hitting the wrong key. Relax. Oh, easy. <laughs> easy. 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 
Did the lady die? Oh my god, I think I messed this up. Wait, did they just deload? Run over the pit person! Don't run over the person! Oh my god. I think I did that in like the most difficult way possible. Sorry. So sorry. Is that it? There's no like interaction or nothing? I did all that for nothing? Okay. Yeah. Rad. I think my best guess is she gives you like a thank you or something, but because of how long it took me and how many cycles of spooking and unspooking the horse I did, I think I broke the quest and like broke the behavior. So I don't I got the intended dialogue chain. But I'm going to assume that they were very grateful for my intervention because they were screaming for me to do that and I don't think I lost a lot of good boy points for doing that. Desert in the moon. I'm actually going to take a stealth weapon and a non-stealth. Do you 
I need it. Below. Really weren't my sweetheart. He was a bully, okay? And he thought what was coming. Now, you gotta come over here and romance me. They said there's other colors. It says it right there in black and white. You're not talking about Frank and Henry. And Harry. I just had bad luck with my makeup is all. Okay, I have to bring her alive. You turn my world around. Oh, you're a conundrum, Missy. Mm -hmm. A real conundrum. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Ah! Come here. Oh, fuck. Oh, look. I did it. the rest of them. That was a lot smoother than I thought I was going to do it. But that was so funny walking up on their conversation. Where he's like reading the newspaper and like, so it says here there's lots of dudes. And she's like, no, no, no. And he's like, no, it, it says there's lots of dudes. And she's like, no, no. Take the cheese. There's something up here. Hand egg. all there is here. There's not, is there anything on the horse over here? No, there isn't. Yeah, 
that, that woman was... She's feisty, isn't she? She was coming at me with a knife. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. Oh, dear. What came over me? Jack, did I just hear those things? It's a, it's a horrible blur. But I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a good girl. R really. I promise I am. You believe me, don't you? Don't you, mister? Shut up. Tell if she's being serious or if she's just making excuses. Like trying to sweet talk me. You're such a strong man. Oh, okay, never mind. So tough. No. <laughs> Maybe if I had a strong man like you, I, I wouldn't be in this mess. this mess. My men folk, they all been weak. That's what my problem's been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big, strong man like you, you'd set me straight, wouldn't you, mister? Put mm. me on the straight and narrow? Don't know about that. Don't know about that, lady friend. Don't know about that. I hate you, you sad sack of shit. I wish I'd cut your belly open and show you your gut. Gutless bounty hunt for nobody. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Ah! I wish you. I just drifted with my horse. I'm level four now on it. <laughs> Our lady's going through all the stages of grief right now. I see somebody with like, well, I mean, I, I say that like I'm seeing them all the time, and that's not the case. It's just anytime I hear about someone who's got like multiple run ins with the law, coming up on the jailhouse, anything else you want to try on me? Just get me there. You, you know, like they always have some history I... of life basically being unimaginably cruel for, for them or mental illness, one or the other. And... I think very few of us are very, 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 very few of us are true bad people. I think we're just all victims of our You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? <laughs> I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. I think I, I'm kind of gathering that the whole point of this fall. whole game is that nobody's Poor good dear. and nobody's just gotta have bad, bad. Around you, don't they, Mr. Wong? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. Now what is there? A money clip. The black widow herself. I wonder how many I can this do. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Now that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. So it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little old me. Let me out to exercise a little. I'm immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. 
It's so boring in here. Can't we have some fun, Sheriff? Just the two of us. And to think you were flipping around this office at one point. I'm lucky you was charmed by another. Lucky. Oh. Lucky, he says. Um, I want to upgrade my shotgun. Man, I'm not looking for trouble, stranger. Howdy. You, you're Howdy. literally sitting there with a fucking knife out. What the? What are you talking about? Like, what are you actually talking about, sir? <laughs> I'm not sitting. It's like me sitting there with my shotgun, being like at like Walmart or like or McDonald's, walking in with a shotgun, and people look at me because I wa just walked in with a shotgun, and then just be like, oh, "Everybody being so weird." Can I not buy anything? Oh, is the shop not open yet? Is it early in the morning? Why can't I buy anything? Mister, excuse me. Morning. Might be too early in the morning. Huh? Morning. Hey. I want to upgrade my gun. Oh, there's nothing up here. Oh, what? I can parkour? Steady. Hey! From the Quit this boys. damn foolish! Hey, the what you staring boys. at? Move along! Looks like you need a... Your story is... Stranger, you're a gentleman. I thought they killed him for a second. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see to my ailings. Thank you, Mister. Really, mind where you go. I'm sorry, they, they won't bother you no more. <laughs> if, I, if only there was more men like you, and less. He got mad at me. They won't he was like, you no "Thank more. you." Then he got mad at me for getting in his way, and then he was like, like "Thank you again." Like, can you make up your mind? Hey there, partner. I'm a mind hey, partner. Morning. Yeah, work is work. Misty. Somebody said you get lots Morning. of good boy points if Morning, you like say friend. hi to a lot of people. Morning, yeah! Morning, Look at me. Sir. Okay, everybody's out and about, so that should be in the shop open yet. Welcome right back. There we go. Feel safer in here, right? Now, let's have a look. Upgrade my shoddy. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. Ooh. Created bandolier. Nice. Mommy just got more ammo capacity, sweetie. My cat is still hanging out with me. Let's go. Anything else? Yeah. 
Hey there. Hello. Not a bad town you got here. That's so. Anyway, all the best. So long. Let's see if the veteran's back. Okay, so we got we got the bounty, but they said that he's gonna do some stuff, so he's not gonna put a bounty around for a minute. What do we wanna do now? Let's see. I, I took care of Question mark behind there, man. Please, come on, open up. Cool. Are you go keep the people safe. You better all be there. What are you looking at? Hey, Mister. Morning. Just go away. You don't want to be making trouble here, believe me. Okay, now we're off with this shot. Hey, boy. Oh, he's not too happy to see me. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Wrong. Are we doing? Are we gonna sell drugs, Michu? Drogas. Okay, then, girl. Fort Wallace, that's a cannot pass. What if we went and did? I don't want to do a Dutch mission because um, he's gonna put off his mission. You know, business opportunity. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's find some America. Morning party. Of a hermit and pandemic really did it in 
see. I should set aside an episode where I like very purposefully go hunting. I kind of, the way I really like to do this is I like going on missions and then Going yep. on these little like tangents in between the missions. But I think maybe when I'm focusing on like the 100% completion stuff, I am going to probably like have a thing where I'm like, I'm setting aside time now to go scout these things out. But this is more interesting. It's a little hard to follow when things are like all over the place. <laughs> looking and I love it. The name's William. Arthur. Oh, you actually don't you look familiar bonkers, with the study of plants, my friend. Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly. Nasty. <laughs> well, Mood. Maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You I can distinguish some. it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They Fine. thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. I've never heard of this, dude. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. I give this him a thing and I get a remedy. Almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. So I'm guessing, like, I find him again. 
and they end up giving him more stuff. What kind of horse is this? Sapusa? But it looks like he painted on the Appaloosa pattern. Like, it doesn't look like Appaloosa, Appaloosa. It just looks like he painted on the blanket. I'm telling this man's horse to settle down like it's mine. Oh, that's cool. He's got, he's got a pretty nice camp. It'd be funny if like running into the cactus, you know, like I feel like cat running into a cactus would hurt. It'd be funny if they like actually gave you like a bit of like a damage point deduction for that. Which way we're supposed to go? Okay, I can just go cut across here. Save some time. Ooh, can I rob that? Well, it's not robbing if it's like on the ground. Right? There we go. It's just sitting here. like a bunch of I might have already like nabbed this place right or there's just like a couple that spawned throughout here come on yeah, I don't think I want any of that stuff color I want. Nah. They're not happy to see me. I'm gonna go to this campfire and see. I think these people are gonna be super hostile to me. I ain't here to cause trouble. Are these just people we can rob from? Is that the whole point of these camps? I think so. I'm yeah. going, I'm going. Sheesh. Whoa. Geez. Some set dressing. Yeah. I wasn't sure if that was like a pile of something we could from or not. Oh yeah, we're going back to Emerald Ranch. This was the scene of the crime. God, that, that clip was so funny. In the motorcycle world, we call that target fixation. <laughs> yeah. That's a little bit of target fixation. Hey there, mister. Hello. Dude, they're so nice to me considering that I killed their boss, I think. Or maybe that's why they are nice to me. You want more uppies? Hello, yeah. mister. That's hey, mister. What? An interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do it interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. We all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Hi, this is Seamus. 
He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. You don't exactly. Like the boss I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Okay. Oh, Old Bob Crawford be? and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's Old Bob mm. Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmen de Dell. It's just off the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. I'm gonna go rob his cousin. Let me get on my horse. Oh my god. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me. I can't brush You're my horse. It's so anywhere. shiny. Yeah. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Go to Carmody Dell. All right. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches. That's easy money for us. I guess mm. you're right. Come on. It's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So fencing. What's the story with that emerald ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. And laundering. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. That was she How he cute. used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Mm. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. get all the bits of story. 
like this horse. That's such a pretty color. I love blue roan horses. I can't get more out of him. This horse trots at the speed of my canner. There we go. Ha! Imagine them being in the voice studio being like, hmm, we want your horse to go a little bit faster. Can you give us some kind of like, yeehaw or something like that? And he just goes like, pa! And they're like, perfect. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Oh, I don't Let's think that that deer has huge antlers. He must be three stars. I'm biting my toes. Thank you. Very sweet of you. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, so what's the plan? Quick look at the place. The wagon wheel, press R to view the item wheel. Select. Hit and put the binoculars. Okay, that's a fun. Oh. Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over. Distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's, let's try. I want to steal from the house. Let's wait. Night sounds one cooler. I love night scenes. Okay, that was better. I need to take a shower. I need to send this poor man. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. I need to make Arthur shower. Search the chimney. I feel like that's where everybody hides all their really expensive stuff. I'm not done.
God, I'm a horrible person. Oh man, I just took everything. Am I a bad person if I have no problem robbing people blind in a video game? I'm not sure. Get on, dear boy. Stole their money, their stagecoach, and I think their horses. with Seamus. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Wait, are they gonna, like, find it in the uh, morning? Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Uh, sure. Yeah, why not? That was really, that was fun. I don't, when I commit crime with like the squad, I don't feel bad. But when I'm by myself and I choose to commit crime, it feels different. I think that's just group think and action. Like, as long as everybody else is doing it, I'm fine with it. Wait, I wanna... Time up. Visit a fence sell valuables, illicit goods, or craft talismans and trinkets. Okay. Got it. Can I steal horses? Oh my god, girl! Put some hey, clothes on! So that fella who was hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? Okay, sure. Karen. Oh, Driscoll boy. Hi, Arthur. Keep your mouth shut, and you might survive the week. Hey, come on. Just know we're watching you. Well, good talking to you. I <laughs> just have the hair like it. I'm threatening you. Great, ch great conversation. I'm gonna take more stew.
what's that piece of paper mean? A letter has arrived for me? People write me? Arthur. But time to talk to... Is it, is it time to Dear talk to Arthur, Dutch? I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple months. Next girlfriend. I had some bad luck and well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls or whatever the polite term is for them that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Hey. That Mrs. Grimshaw. Everybody's in their jammies. John. Hey, Arthur. Sorry for interrupting, but Miss Grimshaw. Much longer over there. What, Arthur? Managing to keep everyone in line? I'm doing my best. They complain a lot. I mean, I've known worse than this. I was born into worse than this. Most of us grew up hungry and scared and alone one way or another True. and here we usually got food and we usually ain't scared i mean sometimes and we ain't never alone not here quite the opposite so i'm done with the whining i know we had a scene in the mountains but we're over that time to cheer up all of you but it's never whining is cathartic but not productive yeah, everybody just sleeps on the bottom um Mary Linton Dutch mission. Mm. Javier Escalé. I think he's asleep. Oh, I guess I should sleep till morning. Or actually, I'm a dirty fuck. Let's go. Let's go find. I <laughs> uh, let's go find a river. dramatically shifted. It must have moved behind it, away from the cloud. Because I think if the horse can just walk through the river and get clean, I can do that too, right? getting clean No, it doesn't look like it, huh? Where am I? 
Oh, I'm still dirty. Red. I guess I need to go in the town and pay for a bath now. Huh? <gasps> Look at him just dunking his whole ass head in the water. That's a cute little touch that they added that if the horse is near water, sometimes it'll just like kind of go and drink from it. tried that. Let's just go check out this Mary Linden thing. I'm in the mood for some ex-wife or ex-girlfriend drama. Is there anything in here? No? Did I like rob- th did I come here at the wrong time? There's like nothing to pick up. Okay, my girl. Or did he rob it all and I was supposed to rob that guy? Yeah. And he had him on the- on like all of the things that they had are on his pockets. That would have been a really cool touch. I love the little random encounters. They're so they're they're so thoughtfully made. Like they just add so much to this world. It, it seems so, like, obvious, but the fact that we're not the, like, we, it's a mechanic for us to rob and do crime to random people in this game, but it adds something that we can also bear witness to, to random people in this game doing it to other random people. Does that make sense? This is a nice house. What are the odds that our ex-girlfriend would live here? New pretty flowers. He loved it one. Two. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh... Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Gonna show up all nasty, too. Hello, Arthur. Mary? Uh, I heard you and your friends was around. I... Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. 
Bad business. Sure. So, uh, you, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ow, can uh, I have my eyeball okay. in here? You're so pretty. I, uh, my family, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Mm. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but oh. it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Oh, Where I want to see what these Chelonians are. Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. Okay, come here. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. Alright. I'll owe you. We're gonna go disrupt a religious me. cult together, baby. If you started a cult, I would join in. You're very cute. And with that alone, he was very persuasive. <sighs> Alright, baby. Assuming the position. Pat engaged. Ready? All the way there. Oh, okay. all the way there. Yeah. All right. Let's go, little Mishu. Oh my God! Today, I, if you made it this far into the into the into the video, what a little heart! Or actually. Put a little meow in the comments so I know because I have a terrible story to tell you. Let's go, girl. I was feeding Mingao today and I opened the can of cat food. I opened the can of cat food, then I used the like the, can, the part of the can you peel off. I use it to cut the can in half and then I give half to Mishu and half to Mingao. And I did that, so I sliced the food in half and I had the can up in the air at an angle. And I was, I was cutting it, I like, chopped it. I was holding it over Mingao. Good morning, mister. Hi. Hi there, mister. Okay, settle down there. Quit wasting my time, you bleeding fool. And I had the can above Mingao and I didn't realize it, but when I chopped it, I pushed all of the juices in the can out so they like it poured half the can's juices right onto Mingao's face and it got in his eye and he was like ah, and he was sitting there like trying to rub it off but then he was also super happy because it was super concentrated fish flavor 
so he was like upset that it got in his eye but was super happy to be licking it all up it was so funny Twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. I found. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, that's a pretty horse. Might as well just have left me to walk. Oh. Maybe go well, off somewhere else. Safe huh? travels, anyway. Just can't never get a break. I didn't realize that was. Th okay, you're right. That was stealing. I didn't mean to do that. But you were just gonna leave it there. Oops. Yeah. Misha, mommy's living a life of crime. rocks doing over here. Well, that was, I don't know what I just missed out on by doing that, but she didn't want my help anymore. Good hey there, partner. You got any idea what time it is? Bummer. American Red Squirrel added that to my compendium. Okay then. Oh no, he keeps tapping me. What are you? That's too far, what am I thinking? <gasps> Are those raccoons? Okay, I was like, why can't I track it anymore? I'm just looking at raccoons, sir. Hey, no damn time for you. Oh my god, okay. This this little location has so much going on. Light rays are so cool. <laughs> History for it. I, I got. I'm getting. This is. This game is so easy to get so distracted in. Yeah. Oh my 
underground, like up in the mountains. I don't think I've been here yet. The whole ass other corner of the map. ago the great Talonian master led pilgrims across the Lanahassi into the wilderness to found a great place of safety a place of safety Gerald what is is that pineapple in the turtles Sir. Gotta speak to the boy. Harson? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. Okay. What path have you chosen, sir? Being a dick. I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I, I, I don't know. When dealing time. with idiots, now let me talk to the boy. You're gonna fall. Throttle him? What does that mean? Goddamn lunatic! Stop it, Arthur! Choke him? <clears throat> That's enough, Arthur! Now, kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Wait, I just better than murdered him? These fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man. No wonder Arthur. he didn't want to come You're home. I thought man. it was like one of those Joe, things where it's like come home. Not a chance. I didn't know I was gonna choke him to death. I just thought I was gonna Like secretariat? His horse is so fast! Oh my god. Just stop and let's talk about this. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! Yeah. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you. I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer. Thank you. 
see your sister. Okay. That was so intense. Okay. It's okay, kid. I know. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't think people who get stuck into I don't know, to, I don't know like, enough about it. like that are fools. I think they're victims. Well, one thing I do know. Designed to pull people in. There ain't no in. shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Goodbye. Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. Same as It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Let me go back. Well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. <laughs> All Father kept telling me was, <laughs> With the you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I remember being younger and not knowing well, who I was. More along the lines of it was hard. Horses or something, but... Hard to move right, through the world where you don't really like, know what makes you. Yeah. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. Here we are. Must be waiting inside. Oh, I thought we were taking him to the house. What are you doing, little brother? Make it quick or I might run off again. That line was pretty lame. I, that's the game's way of telling you that if you're not quick, then you'll be, the game will punish you. But they could have they could have been a little less like on the nose with that. We going in then? Yeah, we're literally walking there. Oh my god, I should have shot him. Oh, there's a cigarette Jamie. card right there. Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's oh, been very sad. Her. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. <laughs> But I'll come home. <laughs> my boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. Uh, 
I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... She didn't play him like a... Okay, that's so not fair. Like, she was not playing him like a fiddle. At least not in this instance. She's just... She's got real bad nerves. I can't work. Can you give me some money? Mickey, I love Mickey. I thought that you know what, maybe in the past she did, but like I see her side. I I can understand where she would be torn like that because we've all really liked somebody who was absolutely no good for us, and then that's a mental war that is hard to fight. I will just say that. <sighs> this is almost two hours long, so I'm gonna leave this Howdy. here. Help a fella out. Hello. Hi. Sir. How you doing? Got no reason to complain. That's your spirit. All the best. Take care now. Give me a dime. I've been put now we're at like the two hour mark, so I'm gonna leave this here. And I will see y'all in the next Excuse video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, it helps me out so I much. How did the cute I fought for you? It's like I don't know how to do the heart. I just want to get a drink. I'm parched. I don't. Give a fellow a nickel. Ah, there we go. Good evening, mister. It's a heart. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.